you just don't know what you're going to see from one day to the next. If you could predict nature, it would be pretty boring, to be fair, but sometimes I wish that things would just sit still, and they don't. I've produced calendars. I've had some cracking shots of, of birds of prey, hares, all sorts. I do like my action, if I can get some action, flights, something with a bit of movement in. So we're in my local town, Sleaford. This is the River Slea. Um, thrives with, with wildlife, nat um, nature, birds, insects, butterflies, you name it. I'm not going to go down there. That looks a bit boggy. Never know what you're going to find. You walk around the next corner, uh, it could be nothing. Come back the next day and um, it could be everything. So during my lunch break, this is the area I head to. Obviously you've got Coggersford Mill, which is just there. Um, I have witnessed the great white eagle and the heron together on that river just down there before. I have been told that I've got a good eye for photography for wildlife. If you're just careful with them, if you see them and you don't tear off arms waving, you can get, you can get relatively close, just crouch down and watch them and they're not bothered. My favourite um, I would say kingfishers diving, uh, the kestrels hovering recently. Got some good shots of the red deers, do like the deers. But there is always some form of editing with your images, but I like to crop differently so it looks a little bit different than just a basic picture. I don't do Photoshop. To be fair, I can't even, I can't even use it. A lot of it's trial and error, you just got to keep coming back and one day you will get that shot that you want.